All right, so let's start chapter six, which are about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Let's first define what those things are. So let A be an n by n square matrix. Lambda is a real number. And then V is an n vector. Then if A times V is equal to lambda times V, Notice this different multiplication. The, the left hand side is matrix multiplication. The right hand side is scalar multiplication. Anyway, if this happens, then we can say in two, for two different ways, we can say lambda is an eigenvalue with associated eigen vector v that's one way to say it or we can say v is an eigen vector with corresponding eigen value lambda so lambda is an eigen value and v is an eigen vector they come in pairs and eigen is a german root In English, I like to call it characteristic. All right, so let's uh, do a couple of examples. So let's consider the easiest case. So suppose A is a diagonal matrix with diagonal entries 2 and 3. Now we know that a times the vector 1, 0 is 2, 0, 0, 3 times 1, 0. This is equal to 2, 0, which is 2 times 1, 0. So this is our v, and this is our lambda. So then we say 2 is an eigen value corresponding to eigenvector 1, 0. And similarly, a times 0, 1 is equal to, which is 0, 3, which is 3 times 0, 1. So this is a different eigenvector and a different eigenvalue. So 3 is an eigenvalue corresponding to eigenvector 0, 1. <clears throat> and this generalizes to larger diagonal matrices. So for example, So if A is a diagonal matrix 3 by 3 with diagonal entries 2, 3, and 4, then same thing, A times 1, 0, 0 is going to be times 1, 0, 0. This is 2, 0, 0, which is 2 times 1, 0, 0. So 1, 0, 0 is an eigenvector, and the corresponding eigenvalue is 2. So 2 is an eigenvalue corresponding to eigenvector 1, 0, 0. And we do the same thing for the other two unit vectors. So similarly, 3 is an eigenvalue corresponding to the eigenvector 0, 1, 0. And 4 is an eigenvalue corresponding to eigenvector 0, 0, 1. Right.